Welcome to the Simply for Dogs podcast, where we'll discuss the best of the best in dog products, share stories, and go over everything you could ever need to be the best dog owner on earth. Here's your host, Franklin Medina. Hey, hey, and welcome to the simplyfordogs.com podcast episode number one. Is it time to let go of your dog? This is a tough topic to discuss as the thought of your dog going over the rainbow bridge is a tough pill to swallow. However, just like humans, we must come to terms with the fact that our furry ones will have to cross that bridge at some point. In this episode, we get to cover a lot of those dreadful questions, so enjoy. I am your host, Franklin Medina, and welcome to today's episode. In case you missed yesterday's episode, episode number zero, which we call our intro episode. In that episode, I spoke a little bit about my background and what you can expect from the show. And I cover a lot of the reasons why I decided to start the simplyfordogs.com website and also podcast. So if you missed that episode, head on back so you can get a little bit of a background on who I am. If you're tuning in for the very first time, thanks again for taking time to listen to the simplyfordogs.com podcast, where we cover the best dog tips, strategies, and stories to help you become the best dog owner in the world. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the following topics. Is it time? Right? We're going to discuss a story we're going to share with you guys. We're going to discuss the right choice to make, right? Uh, knowing when, and then going back, you know, we're going to discuss the question of knowing when it's time, right? Time to let go. And then we have in every episode, we, we have typically our final take, which is our take on the subject matter or the topic that we're discussing for that specific podcast. So um, without further ado, let's jump in to today's episode. Millian, take it away, buddy. Is it time to let go? You have an old dog or a sick dog. You loved him, raised him from a puppy, played with him, took him places, slept with him, and told him all your secrets. You still have that battered old frisbee that he loved to chase, now lying in a corner of the mudroom, untouched for so long. His leash hasn't been taken into service in quite a while. He's passed it, and you are not. And now you have had to face the hard truth that you are going to outlive this friend that you love so much. You look for signs that he is still having fun. You want to believe that he is. Is that wag of a tail a sign that things are going well, or is it just a reflex? Or an attempt to please you? After all, that's what he always did. He tried to please you. And he did. Is it time? Now you are wondering, should I let him go? This sweet, gentle soul that I love so much, who loved me with all his heart, who saw me through good times and bad, and never, ever, even once stopped loving me with all his heart. Realistically, finding the right time can be difficult. Hardly anyone ever says, when it comes to euthanizing a beloved dog, I got the timing exactly right. A story. Let me tell you about a friend of mine. Jackie had a Rottweiler, nine years old and full of beans. Emil the Rot was given to her by someone who didn't have time for him anymore. Apparently, Emil knew that Jackie most definitely did have time for him because he bonded to her like crazy glue. Jackie used to joke and say she wasn't Jackie anymore. She was half of the unit known as Emil and Jackie. They were constantly together. Then one day, Emil looked a bit off. Jackie thought he was losing weight. She took him to the vet and he got a clean bill of health. Still, she thought something wasn't right. Two weeks later, she took him back to the vet and x-rays revealed what might or might not have been a mass on his liver. The vet told her that they could do a liver biopsy, but on a dog of his age, he was nine, which is pretty much the best before date for a Roddy, most likely it was cancer. Jackie had one question, will he have to stay overnight? The vet told her that he would. With tears raining down her cheeks, Jackie said, I will hold him and you will put him to sleep now. I asked her why she made that decision. She told me, he was old, he was sick and I always told him that I would never leave him. If they'd done the biopsy, I would have had to leave him. Right choice. It's so hard knowing when you've gotten it right. I think Jackie did, but who knows? I think the main thing that you need to consider is whether the fun has gone out of it for the dog, and whether there is any hope for a better life. An old, sick dog has likely come to the end of its best-before date, And sometimes the kindest thing you can do is let go. Knowing when. 
If your dog is in pain, let go. If he is incontinent, you should probably let go. He doesn't want to mess in the house. He can't help it. By the same token, if that is the only problem, suck it up. Get some soap and water and deal with it. You would do that for a beloved human, wouldn't you? If your dog seems depressed and disinterested in the things that he or she once enjoyed, maybe it is time to let go. Also, as harsh as this may sound, think about the cost of keeping your pet alive. Are you going to spend thousands of dollars to buy a little bit of time? Would you want your loved ones to do that for you? You could practically bankrupt yourself with all the modern veterinary treatments that are now available, buying nothing more than a week or two for a dog that is well past it. It makes no sense financially, and it probably also makes no sense in terms of the time that you can buy your pet. You need to ask yourself if you are keeping your dog alive for the sake of the dog or for your own sake. Back to the question. So is it time? Honestly, you might not know for sure. The best you can do is, simply stated, the best you can do. You know your dog, and you know when he's looking off. I've often found that the best thing you can do is ask your vet, what would you do if this was your dog? Most vets will offer an honest answer. Postscript So now you are wondering what happened with Jackie and Emil. Jackie let Emil go. She grieved. Some people told her he was just a dog. And since I kind of try to keep this a family-friendly blog, I can't tell you what she said to them. One of the kinder things she said in response to someone who said, he was just a dog was, and you're just a person, not much of one. I want you to understand that I'm not trying to sell you something. But Jackie buried Emil in the backyard where he loved to lie in the sun and chase squeakies. I wanted to memorialize Emil too, and I started shopping for memorial stones. I found one on Amazon that said, if love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. That's how Jackie felt. I'm not trying to sell you anything. That would dishonor Emil and Jackie. But I sure love the idea of remembering a good dog. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and make sure to tune in to tomorrow's episode, episode number two, in which we discuss the topic dealing with separation anxiety in dogs. Now, before I part ways, I wanted to mention a few things that we have going on at the simplyfordogs.com website. And yes, this is the very first episode and I just wanted to take an opportunity to let you guys know right from the get-go of you know this 30-day contest monthly giveaway that we have going on at the simplyfordogs.com uh, website. Now, uh, what we do is we give away one grand prize value between $250 and $500. Like, for example, this month, uh, we're giving away a dog bed, a dog comforter, um, a, an electric trimmer, uh, a Rachel Ray um, a dry food bundle. We're giving away uh, a flea collar for large and small dogs. So the the whole value of of the grand prize can be anywhere between two hundred and fifty and five hundred dollars. And we do this month in month out. But the difference between our giveaways and others out there is that we give away a daily prize in addition. So uh, our goal is to maximize and get as many winners as we possibly can. By giving away a smaller prize, you know we end up at the end of the month giving away anywhere between thirty and thirty one prizes. Right for thirty to thirty-one individual unique, uh, you know, participants as a result of giving away one daily. Now we've seen um, people sign up uh, the day before and win the next day. So don't get discouraged if you join in at the beginning of the middle of the end of the month and you see that there's only ten days, five days, two days, or thirty days left in the contest and feel that you won't have an opportunity to win simply because again we we select the smaller prize winners randomly. Right. And because we choose them randomly, you can sign up the day before and the next day receive an email letting you know that you're a winner of the small prize. So make sure you sign up. It doesn't matter what time of the month you do. Now, um, the grand prize, that one's based on entries, right? It's almost like a performance type of entry for the grand prize where uh, you win based on the number of entries. And if you go to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash giveaway, you'll read the contest rules. It's a lot of fun. You know, you get to invite, you invite and refer your friends. And the more entries you have, the more opportunities you have to win. So make sure you head on over to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash giveaway. Now, if you're not following us already, uh, make sure you go to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash 
FB as in Facebook and make sure you like the page because if you do like the page, what automatically happens is that once you join the contest, you'll be notified because you've liked the page, you'll get some kind of alert on your page letting you know uh, when we post something. And if you're not following us on Twitter, go to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash Twitter and and follow us on Twitter because we announced the winner there as well. Now, if you're not on Twitter, you're not on Facebook, we also email. So, you know, don't, you know, feel like you have to sign up to these social media accounts if you don't have an account already. But if you do, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and uh, you'll like, you'll definitely like the content that we put out there. Now, if you can, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you can, subscribe to the to the uh, iTunes to this podcast because if you do subscribe, what happens is that our show will go kind of viral, right? The more people subscribe, the more it tells iTunes, "Hey, we like this show. This show is some some sort of pop, sort of popular, and uh, we want to, uh, you know." And then the, what happens is that they give us love, right? They give us some juice in the iTunes search engine. And it allows us to be discovered and found by other dog owners and dog lovers. So if you can, spread the, spread the love. Uh, uh, subscribe to our show on iTunes. If you're listening to it on your phone, on your podcast player, wherever you're listening to it. If you're listening to it on our website, that's great and dandy. But please subscribe to our show on iTunes. Because you know if you listen to our podcast on our website, because we do have a web player on, on, our, on our website, uh, the problem with that is that we don't get any love from iTunes. And, you know, if we don't get any love, then, you know, our show is going to be, you know, not easily found by other dog owners and dog lovers. So I don't mean to harp on that, but if you can subscribe to our show, it's great. Now, if you're listening to this, simply go to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash iTunes, and it'll take you to the iTunes store where you can subscribe and leave a rating and review. Uh, and the last link I'm going to give you is the link so you can download the tran- today's transcript. What we normally do for every show is that we provide a PDF transcript of the show and all the links that we've mentioned on the air. So uh, head on over to www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash zero one. So that's www.simplyfordogs.com forward slash zero one and it'll take you to today's episode where you'll be able to download you'll see a link there where it says download today's transcript and you'll be able to download the transcript and uh yeah that that's uh that's where you do it so uh last but not least without further ado i wanted just to thank you again for uh taking the time to listen to our very first show i truly value and appreciate you and i hope that you tune into the following episodes because i think we're gonna have a lot of great content to share with you guys all right guys see you in the next episode cheers Thanks for listening to today's show. Remember to visit www.simplyfordogs.com to read the latest and greatest in dog stories. Take care.